if you're worn out, this is the perfect time to sit down and relax because it's story time. Oh, yes, let's visit the library now with Jelly and Jackson in the Story Makers. <laughs> It's a place where I love to be Look in a book, here's a story for you Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Milton Wordsworth Jenny and Jackson Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Do you know what, everyone? I think it's time to go home. Off we go. Story makers. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down. The stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Ah, there you are. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro. At your service. Listen, I've got the hickety pups. <laughs> Have you ever had the hickety pups? <laughs> They're really funny because one minute you think they've gone, then suddenly <laughs> hiccup. <laughs> Jelly, um, there's a funny noise in the library. Can you hear it? <laughs> oh, there it is again. Can you hear it? It's coming from you, Jelly. I've got the hickety pups. I can't help it. Well, how do you stop them then? I don't know. Oh, I know. Um, the librarian wasn't feeling very well yesterday, and so the children made him lots and lots of get well cards. And when he opened them, he felt lots better. So maybe if you look in one of those get well cards, your hickety pups will stop. Mm. Oh, okay, Jackson. Yes. I'll give it a try. Okay. Oh. Mm. 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 Yes. Mm. Oh yes. I, I think they've got. Oh. oh. oh no, dear. they haven't. Um, oh, well, maybe a story will help to stop your higgity pups. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Let's put this one in. Come on. Yes, come on. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> Will you help to make a story to get rid of Jelly's hickety pups? Mm, we need lots of. Uh, <laughs> lots of hickety pups? No, we need lots of imagination. Oh, yes. Are mm. you ready? Mm. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine a story. Story. Here it comes. Yes. What is it? Oh, it's, it's a, a playbook. playbook. Mm. And it's called Posting a Letter. Mm. My best friend Ellie has not been well. I'm writing her a letter. I think I'll draw a picture too. That might make her feel much better. This face I'm drawing is Ellie's face. I'm drawing lots of spots. Ellie hasn't been to playgroup. She's caught the chicken pox. My mum says I might just catch it too. I think she could be right. I'm missing Ellie at playgroup. That's why I'm going to write. This is great because Mum helps to write the sounds I need. Then we'll post it off to Ellie. Her dad will help her read. 
I'm getting good at writing words. Mum says I'm really clever. But my sister, who is eight, can join her words together. Dear Ellie, please come round and play as soon as you feel better. I write my name and draw a kiss to finish off my letter. Mum's found an envelope to write on Ellie's address. That's so the postman finds Ellie's house. He hasn't got time to guess. Just one more thing. We need a stamp. I give it a good lick. Then put it in the corner, just so. Making sure it sticks. We go to find our posting box. Next post, half past three. I try to post my letter, but it's much too high for me. The postman asks if he can help to take care of my letter. Yes, it's for Ellie. She's not been well. I hope it makes her better. My letter's on a journey now. It's on its way to Ellie. She might write back again quite soon. Instead of watching telly. Oh, I think Ellie will start to feel better just as soon as she gets her letter. Don't you, Jelly? Oh, but I'm not better, am I, Jackson? Mm. Oh, I don't want the hickety pups anymore. Oh, well, perhaps Milton can help. <laughs> Milton! Milton! Ah, oh, greetings and salutations, my fluffy ones. Mm. Milton Wordsworth, at your service. <laughs> Milton, mm -hmm. I forgot the hickety pups. Mm. <laughs> ah, yes, the hiccups, the hiccups. Those pups that hick and pop. Yeah, but I don't want them anymore. But how do you get rid of them, Milton? Mm. Ah, the cures are many and varied. Oh. <laughs> First, we have to give you a big fright. Oh. But I don't want a fright. But a big scare often stops a hiccup in its tracks. <laughs> Would you care to turn away, my fluffy princess, while Master Jackson and I go to work? Oh, right. Hi. Uh, Milton, Milton, wh what are we going to do? Shh. We're going to make a horrible monster face. Oh. It'll make Jelly jump yes. and her hiccups will be frightened away. Oh, right, but uh, what are we going to make the monster face with? Lend me your paw, your fluffiness. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, fruit? <laughs> a frighteningly fruity face, my pink prince. Yes. Can I look yet? Oh, are you ready for a scary monster fright? Mm. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, ha, that's funny. <laughs> funny? Well, it's made out of fruit, isn't it? Mm. F fruit isn't scary. <laughs> mm. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, Try, try again. Come on, Jackson. We need to get our heads together. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> it might not have scared Jelly, no. but we can still make a monster story out of it. <laughs> We're going to need lots and lots of monster imagination. Are you ready? ready? Imagine! Imagine! Imagine a story! Here comes the story! Oh, it's a sniff and wag story! Oh, and it's called the I Don't Know what of us Sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. Tonight, the dogs are rooting around when Sniff finds something bright and round on the ground. It's a ball of such size that he has to open his mouth very wide to get the ball inside. Wag is sad because she wants to have a chew too. Can I have a go after you? She yaps. Sniff says nothing. He's too busy holding the ball. Wag follows Sniff around trying to nose the ball out of his mouth. Then she lunges at it and gives it a squeeze. 
Nat the Bat appears. Oh, hello, you two. I'm so glad I've found you. Only there's a huge, great, oh, I don't know, what a us somewhere behind that bush. <clears throat> and it's ever so scary and stompy and grurry and chompy and <laughs> hurry. Just then, they hear a stomp, stomp, stomping that shakes the ground and makes a rather unfriendly growling sound. Quiet! The I don't know what us appears. It has a floppity snout and flappity ears. Its fur is all shaggy and its eyes shine brightly. I know you're here somewhere. Stop hiding, it bellows. Squeak, squeaky, squeak, squeak, come to me. Squeak, squeaky, squeak, squeak, where can you be? Oh. Wow, wee, that was close. It looks like a dinosaur dog. Imagine that. Wag still has the ball, but Sniff wants it back. Come on, Wag, give it to me. The dogs have a tug of war, and the ball squeaks. Suddenly, they hear the I don't know what are us coming back. Squeak, squeaky, squeak, squeak, come to me. Squeak, squeaky, squeak, squeak, there you be. <laughs> Stop fucking tickling me. I'm so happy because you found my squeaky ball for me. It's my most favourite thing in the world, you know. The I don't know what us is really a dog like us, but he's very big. Yes, I'm a sheepdog, but you can call me Mick. Mick gives Sniff and Wag a ride on his back to the edge of the park. Thanks again for finding my squeaky. You've made me very happy. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we will play again. Oh, the I don't know what a rest wasn't a monster at all. No, it was a hairy sheep dog. Yes. <laughs> I've got it. Got what? A cure to your hiccups. Jackson and I hide. Oh, yes. When you try to find us, we jump out. Mm -hmm. That'll make you jump, and your hiccups will go away. All right. <laughs> I like hiding, Milton. Um, Jelly, you call out when you're ready to come looking, OK? Yeah. OK. <laughs> uh, you hoo <laughs> What is it, Jelly? Well, what shall I call? Uh, um, uh, that you hoo was good. Yes, yes, oh. use that. OK. OK. <laughs> OK. You <laughs> uh, hoo oh. <laughs> What now? Well, it's just practising. Oh, well, do it properly next time, Jelly. <sighs> OK. Yo, lo, 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 lo. <laughs> what was that? Well, I got fed up with you, who. Oh. So I just thought I'd make it a bit nicer. Oh, Jelly. Well, well, I don't want to be given a fright. Oh. Can't you frighten me with something nice? What kind of nice? Well, I don't know. Uh, going yodel low, low, low here he is nice. Yes. <laughs> then let's use it to make a story. Oh, yes. To the story machine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Put Jelly's yodel low, low, hoo hoo in here, please. Oh, OK. Um, yodel low, 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 hoo hoo. <laughs> Are you ready to imagine a yodel low, low, hoo hoo story? Hmm. Imagine. Imagine! Imagine a story! Oh, here it comes, Milton. I wonder what it's going to be. Oh, it's, it's a, a blue, blue cow story. story. And it's called Yodeling Blue Cow. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at a bucket. Moo! 
she said, and jumped at the sound of her voice. I wonder what it would be like to go where your voice sounds different. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where your voice sounds different, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for Yodel Valley. And then they arrived. Blue Cow was surrounded by beautiful hills and mountains. So she decided to let out a loud moo. Moo! Mooey! That's definitely my voice, but it sounds different. Just then, a boy called Gideon appeared. Yellow Cow, is that you? No, I'm Blue Cow. Oh, you don't look very happy. I'm not. My prized cow has gone missing, said Gideon. Oh, dear. What does she look like? She looks just like you, only she's yellow. Well, let's go and look for her. And they set off through the beautiful valley. yodel o dl o dl e sang Gideon. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, I'm yodeling and it's echoing around the valley. Yodeling? Ooh, can you teach me? Asked Blue Cow. Of course, said Gideon. First, sing yodel, yodel. Now sing oddle, 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 oddle. And now, eh, eh, ho. Followed Blue Cow. Now sing it all together. Yodel, 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 Blue Cow took a deep breath. Yodel, 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 and listened for her echo. But her echo was followed by a loud moo. What was that? Asked Gideon. It came from over there, said Blue Cow, pointing towards a large rock. From behind the rock appeared mm. Yellow Cow. It's my Yellow Cow, cried Gideon. Oh, Blue Cow, you found her. Blue Cow was so pleased she started <laughs> yodeling again. Mooey! <laughs> yodel, 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 <laughs> Never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a valley where I learned to yodel. Everyone knows that cows can't yodel. But we know they can. Don't we? Wait a minute. Hmm? Uh, my hickety pops have gone. Oh. It worked. Yes. Hooray, hooray, and thrice times hooray! <laughs> yes, uh, but Milton, hmm? if my hickety pops have gone, where have they gone to? <laughs> Ooh, I've got them. Ah. <laughs> well, you better get rid of them, because look, the morning is breaking. <laughs> yes, it's time to go. <laughs> the children will be <laughs> here soon. <laughs> Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, thanks for story helping. Makers, Bye. Story Bye, story maker. See you again soon.